a very good uh, morning and welcome to all listening to Reach Out and Today. And this program is going to be aired as well on Facebook and YouTube on a program called The Voices of the World. Well, today is a very special program, Sunday, and it's the 27th of January 2013. And in uh, sitting next to me is uh, Dr. Morris as well. To her right is Nurse Wendy Bo Bowman, if I have that correct. So welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. you very much. Great. I know, you know, we're observing World Leprosy Day today. Tell us, give us a brief history on leprosy and how it became known as Hansen disease. All right. Leprosy, as we know, a lot of people know it as a very old disease. They have read it in the Bible. It is a disease that is feared and it has often been mis misunderstood and persons that get or contract this disease are often shunned and stigmatized so in the olden days they were you know they were separated from the normal persons they were forced to live outside of um of you know the normal villages or towns yeah. they had to announce themselves when they were passing by bells wow they had to walk on the other side of the road so this is basically discrimination yes of course yeah <laughs> obvious now, yes we have a uh, miss uh, nurse wendy next to uh, dr morris here uh, nurse wendy what are some of the symptoms of hansen's disease okay basically the symptoms are they're painless spot it could be one spot it could be five spots could be many spots but what is significant about this spot is that it is numb numb Not, spots yes it's, spot a, it's also known as a numb spot disease what we can also it resembles laptop it could look like ringworm it could look like a bite mark but bear in mind this spot has to be numb we can also have um, bumps appearing about the body, which look like mad blood, like some people would say, um, would come in and tell doctor to just had a meal of Chinese fried rice or Chinese loving, and this mad blood would appear about the body. I heard about that mad blood thing before. I, I had an aunt in the family, well, she's still in the family, she used to uh, experience this, this mad blood thing a lot. And her skin used to itch so badly that she had to go to the hospital, you know, on a number of occasions. Now, now uh, who are more vulnerable to Hansen, to the Hansen's disease? Hansen's disease can affect any and everyone. It is no respect of persons. However, literature says that overcrowding can be a predisposing factor for Hansen's disease. Also, poverty, persons living in poverty, poverty stricken areas can be affected with Hansen's disease. Those are the major or predisposing or susceptible causes for Hansen's disease. Also, another point to add is that you, you're vulnerable also if your immune system is very um, low. So, depending on, because you can uh, contract the, the bacteria that causes leprosy but you're you cannot become infected so depending on your immune response to the bacteria in the body you can either get it or not get it so if you're healthy immune system is vigorous you know you're using your vitamins and so you would not get it great so if your immune system is very weak so then yes, you're more likely you, to you're attract more likely the disease to get the infectious, you most likely become infected. Thank you very much, Dr. Mars. So what about a protection? How can persons pr prevent, prevent themselves from the disease? Well, actually, persons cannot prevent themselves from becoming affected with Hansen's disease. What they can do is, if they suspect anyone or they know of anyone who have a norm spot, they can advise them to come down to the clinic as early as possible, get their treatment. Because once the treatment has started, you are no longer at risk of contracting this disease. Okay, anything you'd like to add on that, uh, Dr. Morris? Yeah, um, just to say that, um, as Nurse Bowman said to um, reiterate that adults and children can get it. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter your, your race or creed or ethnicity. 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 Yeah. You can get it to children and adults. 
and, and I must say this, yeah, this disease sounds uh, very much dangerous. It can also lead to disability. Not just in what way can it become or lead to a disease that would have someone acquired a disability? First of all, please don't think it's dangerous. Okay? okay, it's a disease that even though it has um, spiked a lot of um, um, fear in persons, it is curable. It is curable. It is curable, right? So because medicine or, or the tablets are accessible to everyone that comes in and is diagnosed. Right. And what are, okay. What are so some, yeah. why we have disabilities is because of the nerve damage that occurs with, okay. with, with leprosy because the yes. bacteria, it infects the nerves of the body. The, we call them the peripheral nerves or these nerves that are outside of the, the central nervous system. And because of the affectation of the nerves comes weakness and, and, and the, the muscles that are in that area of the nerve that is, um, is fed by that nerve is damaged. Hence, a person would not feel, would not have a sensation. So, for example, if you have nerve damage in the hands, okay? Yes. The person has an area that's insensitive. And so, it would be more, um, they would not be sweating, you know, it would be dry. So, the person would not know, for example, when they're being burnt and they can get, you know, burnt easily. So, we caution them to take care of their, um, their skin. Now, if it's in the foot, you know, they, they're they more prone to have ulcers at the bottom of their feet. Ulcers. What ulcers, yeah. because of the nerve damage and, and the, the um, concomitant causes of the, the nerve damage. The um, loss of sensation and loss of function mm -hmm. because of this damage. Yes. So that is where the disability comes, comes in because in of the affectation of the nerves. So it's very important that you treat yes. uh, leprosy so as very early, early as, as possible. possible. Yes. Now, uh, Nurse Wendy, tell us about treatments that persons can use to get rid of the leprosy out of their system at an early stage. A treatment is dependent upon the type of leprosy or the severity of the condition. There's two types. There's a mild type and there's a severe type. The mild type, the treatment lasts for six months or the patient is given six blisters. And the severe type, the treatment lasts for 12 months or it is given 12 blisters, of which the first dose is a monthly supervised dose which a patient takes in front of us, the nurses. Okay. On the card, there are 27 other tablets which the patient is given the card to take home with and he takes it every day. Okay, what, are, what about, um, where can persons uplift these uh, medications here in okay. Guyana? Okay, the medication is available only and only at the Anson Disease Control Program or commonly known as a skin clinic in the palms compound and breakdown and treatment, I must say, is free. It can be free. Now, uh, Dr. Morris, uh, tell us, uh, I know this, this uh, the leprosy disease, it can be very tricky at times. And tell us about what are some of the, the myths or, you know, untrue stories behind the leprosy disease. I know a lot of persons can be saying this doesn't happen to you if you contract this disease. Tell us about some of the untrue stories persons would tell you about the disease to scare one. Okay. Um, one of the myths is that it's not curable, that when you get it, you will get it for life. And um, but that's not true. After the introduction of the multi-drug therapy or the MVT treatment, um, it has been found that once you start treatment, the bacteria is killed. So you don't have to worry. Although if you have leprosy and it's undiagnosed, you can pass it to your family if you you know you're not aware and you have a patch that's numb and all that. You can pass it to your family but once treatment is started it it's curable some people think that leprosy is a curse obia man give them somebody do them that's not true right it is no it is has been found out it's a fact that the bacteria this this disease is caused by a bacteria that was discovered under the microscope and once treated it will go away 
And another myth is that it is a punishment from God. You did something wrong, mm -hmm. and the the Lord said, "Okay, I'm gonna just strike this person with leprosy." Because you've been yes, but yes, so but that's not true. Those are some of the untrue stories exactly. behind the leprosy yes. disease. Some people also think that it's hereditary, that um, a family had it, so you're getting the consequences of this, um, you know, hereditary. Yes. Past, but that's not true because you can contract it. Your if your father um, had it, it does not mean that you pass it on to his progeny. That's not true. Okay, um, well, yeah, go ahead. In, yes, in addition, few, in addition um, to what Dr. Maris has just said, there are some other myths which include um, eating pork, mm -hmm. eating pumpkin, eating unscaled fish. And this can be very scary because yes, a lot of person, yes, yes. a lot of person probably you know yeah. enjoy eating these you know different meats and um, so on. No, that's why public awareness through the media and different you know different forms of communication is very important. The, the public awareness of this disease has to be of a high level, which means that that's our job as healthcare providers to you know make persons aware that this disease is curable and it's not. A persons that have it and are on treatment should not be shunned. They are to live normal lives. Live normal lives, yes. exactly. And that's the way we would uh, exactly. encourage persons to live. Just you know, if you're in infected by the leprosy disease, uh -huh. then it's important that you start going on treatment ASAP as early yes. as possible, mm -hmm. because you don't want it to get you know more worse. Where to a stage where it might end up leading to you acquiring it. Yes. Now, before we put a wrap on things, uh, Dr. Morrison, Nurse, or Wendy, anything else you would like to add that persons must know about the leprosy disease and some of the cautions they must take to prevent it? What persons can look for are key messages for persons out there. They must remember or they should know that leprosy or Anson's disease is a non spot disease. And if they know of anyone in their family, or any other persons who might have a spot looking like leprosy or a birthmark for some time, they have been to the doctor, treatment was given, creams were given, and they have received no assistance to kindly come into our skin clinic in the palms compound at breakdown. Also, we have 14 other clinics countrywide. If they do not find it possible to come to the skin clinic in the palms compound in breakdown, they can visit other clinics in their area. Example, we have clinics at large, we have clinics at David Rose Health Center, we have clinics in Linden, we go to Barbies. So they can contact the skin clinic in their area. And what I must remind you that early diagnosis means early cure. Early detection means early cure. Great, thank you there, I'm Nurse Wendy. Dr. Morris? Yes, just to reiterate what Nurse Wendy said, that leprosy is something that once it's discovered and it's recognized by the healthcare provider, we put our best foot forward to help that patient because we know um, for most persons, a diagnosis of leprosy is like a death sentence. But once treatment is started, it is cured and they can lead their normal lives. Great. So thank you very much for appearing on the, the Voices of the World today. Thank you uh, very Both much. Uh, Dr. Morris and the Nurse so Wendy, it's a great pleasure having you here today. Thank you for inviting us. My pleasure. Okay. So One